Hello everyone. Welcome to the Hindu editorial vocabulary reading and summary series presenting by Diction Addiction. Today's Hindu editorial title is Defamation as a Crime on the Acquittal of Priya Ramani. First section is vocabulary. Under this section, we will dissect the article for new words and important words and their meanings and uses and then pronunciation will be learned. The very first word is emblematic, means symbolic or representative. So for example, the, the sword or a gun is an emblematic of power gained by violence. Pen is an emblematic of thoughts, power, emblematic of power gained by thoughts. So emblematic means symbolic or representative. Acquittal means release. Uh, they, the judgment or verdict that person is not guilty. There is no, no evidence to prove that the person is involved in the crime or in the, uh, that, pro, that one. So he is, he is free. Defaming means loss of reputation. So, the, so you are causing a damage to the reputation by saying something about him, him or her. So which is not good for him. So whatever, if you level the some criminal charges or corruption charges against someone who is not really involved, that's what is a defamation. Preserved means keeping intact in a original state for a long time is called as preserved. Preserving the pickles, right? They, they are in the same state for a long time so that the taste and the texture won't be changed. That's what is a preservation. Conviction means sentence or a judgment. Someone is, is proven to be involved in some crime or corruption or other illegal activities. Their judge would be sentencing imprisonment. That's what is conviction. Other way, in other sense, it's a strong belief. I'm doing this activity with the conviction. Means you, you are involved. You have so much uh, passion about that activity is called as conviction. Disastrous means completely damaged. Great damage, devastating, catastrophic means disastrous floods we have seen in the recently in the Uttarakhand. Revelation means revealing. Revealing the secret, the process of revealing is called as revelation, means exposing or disclosing, disclosing the secret. Four, means front or forefront of the, anything is called as four. Prospective, means thought process, thinking in a some particular line, particular, particular uh, uh, way is called as uh, prospective viewpoint or you position. Dignity means controlled behavior in any given condition. You don't uh, you don't see the changes or fluctuation in the behavior of a particular person means is having highest dignity, right? Grievances means uh, someone who is treated unfairly. Right, so there is no equality. Then, then that's what is the people will report that to the IS. That's what is called as the concerns or problems or unfair treatment is called as grievances. Sweeping, it's going to affect a lot of people. So sweeping victory or sweeping changes means completely there will be a change in a given time or space. Raked means sloping or leaning. 
stellar which outstanding wonderful no uh, people activity people are act, their activities are of high standard stellar performance so stellar means high standard means uh, wonderful act, wonderful they have quality highest quality in that activity or uh, performance accomplished proven skilled in a particular activity accomplished author accomplished politician means they have reached the peaks in that uh, profession accomplished scientist testimony means evidence or a proofing of something suppose uh, i just want to know myself so you ask someone else means they'll give you what i am that is also called as testimony evidence indirectly you are taking a uh, uh, in the real real things about someone from the others that's called as testimony testified means if you are serving as a evidence for some some incident that's what is called testified giving evidence about it stenus strenuously strenuously means tirelessly actively energetic and great effort with the strong determination you are saying something with the same uh, energy that's what is strenuously receptive means open minded you are you are ready to listen to the anyone you, even it is worst also that's what is open minded is called as receptive means you are able to uh, talk friendliness irrespective of the situation or condition or activity still you are thinking very friendly you are not you are you are not showing emotions that's what is receptive detriment means danger harm detrimental effect of late next to the college detrimental means it's going to cause a damage to the particular thing is called detrimental excel means shining exceptionally good at activity so he is excelling we say generally right he or she are excelling in that particular activity is called as workforce means employees are people who are involved engaged in that particular activity is called as workforce undesirably we don't want to happen it's a unpleasant one undesirable unfortunate unlucky unsuitable critics person who express unfavorable opinion suppose i am saying something other one is saying exactly opposite to that one he is expressing his opinion that's a critic so we will find out the loopholes in your opinion or your activities called as critics detractors means person who criticize you is called as detractor decriminalize so to stop something being illegal suppose once upon a time gay marriages means men men marriages women women lesbian you know are atrocious this is what is criminalized in india but after that after supreme court verdict it's a their tendency to have their own partner so that's decriminalized similarly defamation should be decriminalized so these are the uh, different words we have discussed from the today's article i hope you all enjoyed the uh, vocabulary section now we will move to the next section is called as loud speaker the one i like most where i read the article with a, with my complete voice so that i take up most of them reading it's a loud speaker some judicial verdicts acquire emblematic significance far beyond outcome of particular case the acquittal of journalist priya ramani of the charge of defaming mj akbar a former union minister journalist and author 
has protect, protected and preserved the space for women who have found their voice in recent times to speak out about their experience of sexual harassment in the workplace. A conviction in this case would have had disastrous consequences for many courageous women who have come out with the disturbing, disturbing re revelation about the extent to which a large number of professions and fields in the country have been unsafe. Be it the media, as in this case, or any other domain, the reality is that many women suffer silence in the face of harassment, especially in the early stages of their career. Has been brought to the fore by the newfound space and freedom to share their experiences, even if it be after many years. Mr. Akbar's case was rooted in the claim that he had stellar reputation as a highly respected journalist and accomplished writer. However, the court found that found the testimony of Mrs. Ramani and Ghazala Wahab, another journalist who testified in her defense, to be a great, credible and detailed enough to question the reputation that he has so strenuously trying to uphold. A, a welcome feature of the judgment is that the court was receptive to the defense that Ms. Mrs. Ramani's claims were true and made for the public good. Additional Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Ravindra Kumar Pandey has placed the case in correct perspective by noting that a woman cannot be punished for criminal defamation when she raises her voice against sexual harassment because the right of reputation, reputation cannot be protected at the cost of right of life and dignity of the woman. He has taken note of the unequal equations of power between the harasser and victim in most situations. Given that it may result in loss of dignity and self-confidence at the time. The court underscored that a woman has a right to put her grievance at any platform of her choice and even after decades. It may appear to be a sweeping statement that opens up the possibility of incident from the distant past to be raked up to the detriment of anyone's reputation. However, the court places it in the context of need of the women to have freedom, equality, equal opportunity, and social protection. If they were to excel in any atmosphere in which their workforce participation is undesirably low. In this backdrop, backdrop it is unfortunate that criminal defamation still survives in the statute book. Thanks to 2016 Supreme Court verdict upholding it. A criminal prosecution is a quicker and less expensive and making it a handy tool for to silence one's critics and detractors. The time now come to decriminalize the defamation, defamation so that those who suffer injury to their reputation are left only with the civil remedy. Yeah, we are done with the uh, loudspeaker section. Now we went into the summary. So it is very interesting to know that court have acquitted the Priya Ramani from this defamation case. And uh, and the, the as I told you, as the editor told that it is having an emblematic, it is emblematic for many things. And uh, if you look at the uh, verdict, 
there are four or five important points from this article as well as the uh, judgment. The first one is that the right of reputation cannot be protected at the cost of the right of life and dignity of the women. This is a very important statement. So here, Akbar, MJ Akbar said that I am our allegations is damaging my reputation or my journalism, journalistic skills or other, other things. But court said that you cannot be protected your reputation when her dignity and life is in danger. So life and dignity and dignity and uh, uh, life, uh, right of life, right of life and dignity are the most important than the, your reputation. So she has come to the public domain to say something which has happened to her in, in the, and she was not able to bear that. Now she is opening up that. So your reputation is not matter here. So that's a very important statement and it is have a seminal impact on the uh, in the society. Next, second important point is that a woman has a right to put her grievances at any platform of her choice and even after tickets. There is no limitation to the women to put their put forward their grievances in the time or place. So whenever whenever they feel safe, they can put forward their grievances. Wherever they feel safe, they can put forward the the grievances. Hence, this statement also or this line also have a important impact on the people. Third point is that the welcome feature of judgment is that court was receptive to, def to the defense that Mrs. Mrs. Ramani claims were true and made for the public good. And the court has accepted the Mrs. Mrs. Ramani defense. Why? Because a lot of people are coming, coming and saying their grievances and their what, whatever they have faced at their workplace. Why? Because they at workplace representation of the women are very low and they are minor. So they tend to get tend to get the inequal treatment or inequal in opportunities or inequal in 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 any case. Hence, so court was very receptive to the defense of Mrs. Ramani. And because why? Because it's a, it's a big deal for the women who are, as well as it's a public good only. So who are come out, coming out and saying their uh, uh, early career problems in the form of harassment, in the form of less chances to get promoted, you know, equal treatment and so on. It's very important to the, uh, you know, defend the, uh, accept the defense of Mrs. Ramani. Finally, this is very important. As court noted that if you at all you want to silence the critics or your detractors, you file a defamation case in the court for one crore or two crore, so that the people would be feared to go to the court, and obviously they'll close their mouth. This is the simplest and uh, uh, easiest and uh, handy kit for the most of the people who wants to shut down their, their critics mouth. So here defamation cannot, cannot, you see, the time may have come to decry, decriminalize the defamation so that who suffer injury to their reputation are left only with the single remedy. So if you can def, decriminalize the defamation, and then there won't be any problem, any kind of concerns to the victims. They can fight. 
irrespective of whether they are able to prove the prove the uh, allegations but at least they can open their voice and they can tell what they have undergone that could heal some extent by saying to the public so irrespective of the reputation of the uh, the pretender right so victim concern is most important this is what i want to tell from this today's tutorial from was what i understood from the today's tutorial so i guess so this is a big deal for most of the women who are working and non working also so 50% would be having a 50% of the population have a uh, advantage with this case that's what they said it's a pub it's, they have accepted because it's a public good thank you all for your attention now i would say to the last phase if at all you like it give thumbs up if you want to regular updates do subscribe the channel and if you want to share you can share there is no issue with that and if you have any concerns just give some message in this type you know comment in the comment box okay then see you again with one more video tomorrow until then bye bye